Nobody could have known, Kyle. DarbyCast, Wildcard Friday. Kyle and I, we were just talking about consequences of personal decisions and policy decisions. This is going to be a hilarious time. Also kind of depressing. This year, okay, Kyle, as people in media who are left-leaning and towing the line for this satanic system that we've been propping up for quite some time with our spirits and our tax dollars, when these people have to compound the lies that they've been telling, it's going to be a heck of a show. It is going to be one heck of a show. And they're going to say what? Well, nobody could have known. Nobody could have known that giving the entire population, for the most part, an experimental medicine that never passed any clinical trials, not even for animals, nobody could have known that that would have negative health consequences, including but not limited to huge spikes in cancer rates, heart problems, tumors, strokes, autoimmune disorders. Nobody could have known. We knew about it, Kyle, back in, what, 2020, 2021? And that's why, thankfully, most of the listeners of the Darby cast did not take said experimental medicine. Nobody could have known that hiring C students as teachers who are also perverts, nobody could have known that that would make schools pretty weird and turn kids pretty goofy. Nobody could have known that. Nobody could have known that giving everybody a mind control device, aka a cell phone, would have weird consequences for people's mental health. That was not obvious, Kyle. My goodness. Nobody could have known that flooding the country with immigrants from the third world who don't share our values, speak our language, or care to integrate at all. Nobody could have known that that would have some kind of backlash. Nobody could have known that releasing hardened criminals out of prisons would increase the crime rate. Nobody could have known that being soft on crime and really not prosecuting anything at all in major cities would make those cities unsafe in the long term. How could you have known that, Kyle? Not an obvious conclusion. Like, check this, Kyle. How could you have known that demonizing men would make them less enthusiastic to participate in the system? Like, where does that come from? Who could have known that elevating women, not based on their talents, but based on the fact that they were women, that that could have negative outcomes? And on the subject of women, who could have known that taking women out of the household would hurt children? Kyle, that was supposed to just work out long term. Every kid should be able to be raised by a Guatemalan babysitter and turn out having all the values of their birth parents and not the Guatemalan babysitter. That was supposed to work out. How did it not? No knock on people from Guatemala, but it's just such a shock that that didn't work out. Who would have thought, Kyle? that giving control over what you can and can't say online, giving that control to five or six companies could turn out poorly and really suppress a lot of ideas. Total curveball, Kyle. It's a Randy Johnson curveball, and it's coming in hot. That's a 400-mile-an-hour Randy Johnson curveball. And keep in mind, I don't know anything about baseball. It could be even faster than that. 800-mile-an-hour curveball. Nobody could have known any of these things, Kyle. Who would have thought that demonizing and mocking the primary faith of the country, that being Christianity, would lower church attendance, and then all of a sudden that our moral fiber would somehow degrade as a result thereof? Sure, some people had hunches that this would happen, but those people are evil and they're also bigots. Kyle, you need to understand that if you can predict the future accurately, you are a conspiracy theorist 
a terrorist and evil incarnate. Do you understand how that works? Kyle, if you can draw conclusions about bad outcomes before they happen, sure, you're right, but you're also a piece of garbage. Do you understand why that's important? I get it. Who would have thought that developing AI as a censorship tool rather than anything resembling something intelligent would create a totalitarian hellscape of an information who done it? It's really tough to track with, Kyle. Kyle, over the years, we've been right about everything. I don't know if there's a single issue that we have missed the mark on, honestly. Go back in the catalog, listen to absolutely every single episode. You will find that we have been on point about everything. But that makes us bad dudes, Kyle. That makes us awful. And we need to feel bad about that. We need to feel ashamed that we could predict the things that are currently going terribly and that we're continuing to predict things that are going to happen in the future. Kyle, we have to stop because that's bad. Kyle, you're a bad guy. We need to look at the evidence and you're a bad guy. That's it. Kyle, you probably knew this deep in your heart that being right about things made you a bad guy. Who could have known, Kyle, that attempting to restructure our entire economy around green energy would nuke the economy and make the same people who are already very rich even richer because they were a part of the legislative process. Nobody could have known that that's how that would play out. Damn it, Kyle. Nobody could have known. And the fact that we knew makes us bad guys. But this is what it's going to sound like for the next, well, forever. Nobody could have known that putting masks on kids would create antisocial tendencies and limit their ability to recognize human emotion. That was entirely unclear. Nobody could have surmised, Kyle, that the establishment that is openly hostile towards the population, that they actually mean what they're saying and that this isn't one big joke. They actually hate everybody. Nobody could have known that. That's what the media is going to say. And Kyle, you're a bad guy. That's the essence of this episode and the essence of how you need to feel about everything that you saw coming is that nobody could have known. And if you did, you're a piece of garbage. Is it possible for anybody to have known that taking all of our manufacturing capacity and moving it to Southeast Asia, that that would have negative consequences economically for decades in the future. Doesn't make any sense to me, right, Kyle? Wink, wink. Try this one on for size, Kyle. This makes zero sense, is that putting most of the adult female population of the country on hormone altering birth control, who would have known that that has caused a lot of problems, a lack of an ability to pair bond, lots of ovarian cysts, various kinds of cancer, behavioral changes. Who could have imagined that? Only evil people like ourselves, Kyle. Here's another brain buster. Who could have thunk that putting the entire population on psychotropic medications, well, like, I don't know, 70% of the population on psychotropic medications, anti-anxiety, ADHD, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, who would have thought that that would have any kind of downside? Or an alternative solution. That was the only thing we could have done. When people weren't fired up, on the way things were going in their own lives and the world around them, what choice did we have but to over-medicate people? Here's another tricky one, Kyle. Who would have thought that 
lowering academic standards at universities and encouraging everybody to take on massive amounts of debt to get meaningless degrees, who would have thought that that would have created an absolute plague of intellectual narcissism of pretty scholastically average to inept people? Like, are you kidding, Kyle? This one really breaks my brain, Kyle. Who would have thought that making popular music all about selling drugs, violence, and buttholes, who would have thought that that would have lowered the bar as one of our most powerful art forms of describing the human experience? Pop music rocks, Kyle. Shake that ass, Kyle. And see what you got. Drop it to the flow, Kyle sell crack that was supposed to make people feel empowered and i can't believe kyle the other day that you suggested that that wasn't doing that you're a bad guy because nobody could have known that only bad people can predict these things so yeah kyle like you're kind of right about a few things but at what cost you're evil you're trash who besides racists and homophobes and sexists and genocidal maniacs could have known that adding synthetic chemicals to every single food to make the food impossible to stop eating, who could have known that that would have some kind of downside? I don't get it, right? Nor do you if you're listening to this. You're probably smacking yourself in the head and saying, mystery to me. I'll tell you what. That's probably been happening to you this whole time. Now let's take a pause. Some of you are going to hear news stories like this over the coming years. And you're going to say, wait a second, this feels like gaslighting. This feels pretty dishonest. These seem like pretty natural conclusions to the way things have been going. These are the logical extensions of what have been at best profit-driven and at worst highly satanic, agendas. Check yourself and go to college. That's what I have to say to you, if you're saying that. And maybe, hopefully, you get thrown in a Soviet work camp, stateside, and you just have to crush rocks with a sledgehammer until you're eventually shot in the head by somebody who's on the right side of history. That's what I hope happens, Kyle. Kyle, I hope you get murdered, execution style, by a blue-haired Starbucks barista who decided to pivot into a concentration camp guard. Who knew that making no-fault elective divorce for the sheer sake of like, yeah, you've changed, I've changed, we're just not seeing eye to eye on things the way that we were in the beginning stages of our relationship, who would think that making divorce super easy and exploding families would have negative impacts on men, women, and children and society at large? Mind your own business, Kyle. Right? Kyle, you've brought a couple of these things up to me and to that, I just say, how does the collective physical mental, spiritual, and emotional well-being of the country affect you in any way. If you act like that is a thing, you're basically Hitler 2.0. Here's another thing that just baffles me, Kyle. Replacing all forms of art that glorified beauty and turning it into pieces of unsophisticated and meaningless abstraction that doesn't communicate any sort of deep fundamental truth about reality, life, God, or otherwise. It hasn't inspired people, this new form of art. It hasn't inspired people. But nobody could have appreciated that as the trend was unfolding for the past five decades or more. I'm in so many mental quagmires, Kyle. Nobody had knowledge about any of these outcomes too many variables to appreciate except for evil people sure you were right about 
the pursuit of unnatural and hedonistic pleasure-seeking sexual behaviors becoming a fundamental hallmark of our society not being the greatest for anybody from a health standpoint or a mental health standpoint or any standpoint, really. I'm sure you're right about that, Kyle, but like, why don't you just decolonize your attitude, okay? You may have been dead on about a lot of things over the years, Kyle, myself as well, but we need to feel really bad about that. We need to feel terrible for knowing that a lot of stuff wasn't going to work out in advance. Architecture, Kyle, all of these buildings that are cookie cutter concrete brutalism, those were supposed to make us all feel great. And they haven't. Who could have known that? Check yourself, Kyle. You're evil. You're bad guy. You're terrorist. And that's the most important takeaway from all of this. That right there. Impossible to foresee that if you make your number one value as a society tolerance is that some people might take advantage of that and reward you with treachery and betrayal. I didn't see that one coming. It's like getting sideswiped, Kyle, T-boned by a big rig of confusion. Look back to the recent past, the whole George Floyd thing, Kyle. Do you remember when the entire establishment said that our country needed a racial reckoning? Who could have predicted that that would make for a more racially hostile country? Here's a head scratcher that nobody saw coming except for evil jerks like you, Kyle, and myself. Okay, we're part of it. This is a team sport. You and I are both evil as a duo. And anybody who listens to this podcast, because if you had advance notice that military intervention in countries halfway across the globe could have negative impacts for us financially at home, politically for the countries abroad, and a destabilizing effect on entire regions. If you had that hunch, you're probably a witch because nobody could have seen that coming and you must have used some kind of dark magic to achieve that. Or you're a Nazi. And never mind that that doesn't make any sense. Just know that that's what you are. It doesn't matter that none of these pejoratives that I'm thrown out to you, Kyle. It doesn't matter that they aren't definitionally sound. It just matters that you internalize that you're a bad guy for even suggesting that some tenets of modern society aren't okay. We have to accept that, Kyle. That all of human history up until right now, that people were just oppressed. And it was evil times and nothing good happened until we had Rick and Morty and pot widely available. Who would think that shifting the dress code for women to that of softcore pornography of the 1990s and having that go completely mainstream everywhere in society, who would think that that would uh, be kind of distracting for everybody? I certainly didn't see it coming, Kyle. I'm trying to be a better guy, so I just, I didn't see that one coming. If you see negative things in the works based on the purposeful trends that are being forced upon the population, just shut your mouth about it. That's another big takeaway. You shouldn't speak up when you see creeping authoritarianism and moral degradation happening everywhere, because then you're bad, Kyle, and nobody should ever want to oppose anything. If you see something, don't say something, and if you say something, you're the worst person I've ever heard of. You're anti-American. Kyle, as a country, we're trying to pursue excellence. And in that process, rampant drug use, increasing suicide rates, the complete implosion of the nuclear family, 
patriotism, faith, all of these things going downhill. That's just consequences of the excellence that we're so close to achieving. Don't you get it? Because nobody could have gotten it. Let me tell you about the play that the media has been running for basically the past three years. Is everything's great and on the up and up. Then, when it gets too obvious for even the most indoctrinated, mind-controlled, idiot slaves of the population to keep going along with the rising tide of whatever it is that's rising, then they pivot. From nothing's wrong, actually, you're just seeing things. You can't trust those lying eyes and idiot ears of yours. Can't trust your gut. Can't trust reason. They've been saying that for a while, but now they're going to say, nobody could have known, except for the worst of you. Like you, Kyle, and me. That's the progression. Everything's fine. If you think otherwise, you're crazy. Okay, things are so out of hand that you are, in fact, noticing things. That means you're a bad person. Now, as a bad person, you must be eliminated. That's kind of the way things have been going. And that startles some of us. But if you feel startled by the direction of anything, you're actually a monster. You're part of the problem. You calling anything out and not just focusing on meaningless content on the internet, if you try to understand the world and draw obvious conclusions, you're dangerous and morally bankrupt. Are there any other conclusions that could possibly be drawn, Kyle, from an intellectual and moral standpoint? Probably not. Probably not. Kyle, you need a re-education of a lifetime. So I want to encourage you to watch all the Disney remakes because they're better than the originals, obviously. I want you to watch Sex in the City so you know what it's like to embrace femininity, Kyle, because that's important for you as a dude, is to understand that to be a woman, you got to move to a big city and get plowed by a bunch of randoms until everything eventually works out for you, because that's how it works. That's simply how things work. And if you think that it doesn't, boy, have I got news for you, Kyle. You're a misogynist. You hate women. You're a chauvinist. You want to kick women in the teeth. This is just the evolution of the country, Kyle. And nobody could have seen that there were problems developing. Educate yourself, Kyle. Read Vox. Go to Vox.com. If you're having trouble deciding whether to believe your own instincts and intuition and reason versus the establishment, go to Snopes. They're going to tell you what's really going on. All these things that are facts, Kyle, that you think you have. Your accurate worldview, quote unquote. Your deep understanding of trends that have been developing for multiple decades. Take it to Snopes. Myth busted, Kyle. All of what you're talking about. It's one of two things. It's either not happening, but if it is, it's your fault for noticing. And it really speaks to your character. If you're listening to this right now and you knew about any of the negative consequences of anything, either shut up or feel really bad about yourself today and never talk about anything again. Maybe you just off yourself. So we can uh, make way for progress, Kyle, because that's progress. All of this. When society is moving towards purposelessness, economic collapse, and total destabilization, you better celebrate that, Kyle. You better celebrate chaos. Don't try to right the ship, Kyle. Just sub yourself out of the game. Sit on the sidelines. Never interact with anybody. Never tell people what you're seeing because they're going to know that if you knew about any of these negative outcomes, that you hate them. Kyle, didn't you try to dissuade your family from taking the vaccine and they shunned you for years? 
so smart of them. They knew, Kyle, that they could trust international governing bodies, totally unelected, more so than their own flesh and blood. Kyle, don't try to bring awareness to anything, okay? Because nothing's going wrong. And if it is, you're just burning bridges with people. And nothing's more important than being nice all the time and never hurting anyone's feelings. Kyle, if somebody says that you're mean or bad, that means you have to stop thinking or saying whatever it is that you're thinking or saying. What I'm saying to you is speaking up about things going poorly is not virtuous. And when the going gets tough, Kyle, fold your hand and walk away. If you receive social pushback for having different opinions that end up being correct, you need to change everything about yourself. Kyle, I need you to get this through your head. People don't lie about anything when they're in positions of power. You, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to lie. And you're also not allowed to have goals that are secret that don't align with what you're saying in public. That's the rules of making it to the most influential rungs of society. If you did that in the past, you just have to stop. Once you're in a position of leadership, power, influence, so on and so forth. All of these people who are running society want the best for you, Kyle, and your future children. Why can't you just accept that? Why can't you get it through your thick, evil skull, Kyle, that you don't know anything, and if you do, you're bad? Oh, yeah, if you're new to this podcast, like, definitely don't listen to other episodes because clearly this is not okay, and, like, you don't want to listen to stuff that's not okay. You don't, because at best, you're evil, and at worst, you're really evil. So let's keep this in mind. Nothing's going wrong. The economy's fine. Our currency's ironclad. We have no problems in society. All of human history up until the present moment was terrible and evil and needs to be discarded immediately, if not sooner. And that's basically it. Like, if you can't do that, just get out. What a weird episode this has been, Kyle. But kind of sweet, right? Very dishonest, but powerful. Not bad. That's DarbyCast for you, Wild Card Friday. Share this with somebody today who thinks that we couldn't have known anything. Share this with somebody today who's still refusing to accept reality. Send this to somebody today who thinks that everything's going well, and if it somehow isn't, that you're a bad person for knowing that things have been on a weird trajectory for a long time. Or just send it to a friend who needs a laugh. Who's like, huh, I understand what's being done here. Not bad. Tongue in cheek, huh? But send it to somebody. Why not? And Kyle, you're a bad guy. I hate you and you deserve to die.